Hello everyone. Am I audible and visible? Welcome to discussion of report on medical legal examination of accused of sexual violence. So in last week we discussed about medical legal examination of victim of rape. So this week we are discussing about accused of sexual violence accuse of sexual violence if you ask me what is the bnss related to examination of accuse of sexual violence your answer should be 52 bnss what is bnss as you know BNSS is going to replace your CRPC. 53A CRPC previously it is related to that is examination of accused of rape. Now the new MCQ that can be asked that is 52 BNSS Bharatiya Nagarika Suraksha Sannida. Okay. Accused of rape. Talking about accused of rape. It comes under 52 BNSS. Bharatiya Nagarika Suraksha Samhita. You can see here BNSS. What it states? Examination of person accused of rape. Accused by medical practitioner. Remember, accused can be male, can be female. Okay. Female also can be accused under the act known as POCSO Act. What is POCSO? Protection of children from sexual offences. Under this act, female can be accused. But most of the time in 376, it is only the male is the accused. Yes. So this is a practical exercise, we are discussing only the practical aspects of medical legal examination. Okay, like example, how to write the certificate, that is what we are going to discuss in today's lecture. Theoretical aspects, the legal aspects related to all this IPC, DNS, DNSS and all, you can go through the theory class. So this is purely a practical exercise. I am discussing on practical things. How to write the certificate in next 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, what are the components of certificates that is given by CBME curriculum, NMC and the checklist. Checklist. The first thing you need to write general particular general particulars as you know x address a legal history all this comes under general particulars we are discussing again in detail about it consent a very important component which carry one mark that is the consent and identification mark at least two identification mark required to identify accused in case of sexual violence. Relevant medical surgical history half mark. History related to sexual violence half mark. Gender of examination 0.5 mark. Examination of injuries on body 0.5 mark. Local examination 1 mark. Sample collection for clinical laboratory 1 mark. Collection preservation of sample for FSL 1 mark. And hospital and FSL report, the collection of reports that is half mark and finally the very important is the final opinion that is 
according to CBME, there is a two mark. Finally, the signature name designation doctors that carry 0.5 mark. So this is the, you know, uh, the checklist related to the medical legal report that is accused of rape. Let's discuss one by one what you need to write. General particulars, the first thing, general particulars, right? You need to write general particulars like name of the hospital. What is the name of the hospital? You can write MAMC or LNGP hospital, OPD number, IP number, OPD outpatient department number, IP number, inpatient number, name, address, age so the here can be the question can be asked what do you mean by juvenile so juvenile means less than 18 okay male or female less than 18 year known as juvenile again the question can be asked uh, what do you mean by heinous crime what do you mean by petty crime all this can be asked in your exam as per juvenile justice act then the sex male or female what are the time it is male but remember female also can be an offender as per pokso act what is pokso can be asked what is pokso protection of children from sexual offenses again there are uh, various offenses like penetrative sex aggravated penetrative sexual assault, sexual assault asa all the sexual harassment all this comes under pokso pokso can be asked in your exam uh, in detail about pokso and the punishment then date and time of arrival to the hospital brought by police or court order or self that you need to mention details of all this date and time of commencement of examination brought by MLC number, it's a medical legal case, there will be an MLC number for each police station, like New Delhi police station, ITO police station, Tumagur rural police station, like that. Whether conscious oriented to time, place and person, okay. Here, this is very important, conscious, the word conscious, as we discussed many times in our class, Consent matters a lot, that is consciousness matters a lot while taking consent. So you need to check for the consciousness. So you need to take the proper consent from only from the conscious person, oriented person. Conscious, oriented to time, place and person. Yes or no, that you can mention. Any physical, intellectual, psycho, psycho social disability, any person, personality disorder, if that is there, that you can mention. So, all these are about the general particulars. Okay. So, again, I'll repeat the examination of accused of rape or sexual violence comes under 52 BNSX. Previously, under CRPC, 53A CRPC. You can remember 53A, A for accused of rape. So, the question can be asked what do you mean by 52 CRPC? CRPC? All this can be asked. Next, oh, accused person. We're talking about accused. Next, informed consent. So, consent you need to take while during examination. That you can write like this. I, the name of the person. X, maybe X, the name of the person. Son, daughter of. Hereby, give my consent for. That is. Medical examination for treatment. Yes, there can be some requirement of treatment during injury. Medical legal examination, that is nothing but your forensic examination. And the sample collection. So, we are, we are going to collect the samples from him and going to send it to the clinical laboratory or forensic science laboratory. So, you need the consent from the accused. Right. What is the word should be mentioned? He also understand that as per law, hospital required to inform the police 
in from the body here the viva question can be asked it comes under pertinence that means also it is mandatory under oxo act so this has been explained to me i have been explained that if i refuse to consent for medical examination it may be treated by the court as evidence against me this word all these words are very important these words should be there in the okay against me then i have also been explained as per law that is 53 53a 54 depends on the condition reasonable force can be applied or can be used to compel me for undergoing this examination this is what so under the section 53a a the accused can be examined even without consent even with a reasonable force so this is what can be asked in your exam 53a but in victim examination consent is must consent is mandatory you cannot force the victim for medico legal examination as per 160 crpc just in last days okay yes now we are talking about the third component identification mark what are the uh, identification mark like scar mole and how to write the proper identification mark that we discussed in our this videos right at least two identification an example that is the mole okay next then comes is the relevant medical surgical history surgical history that is relevant here like uh, any uh, recent uh, history of uh, anal genital injuries are any surgeries are any diagnostic procedure any medical treatment are any consumption of drug medicine that may affect the interpretation of physical finding if anything that that we can mention in this fourth column that is contraception whether contraception used in the violence yes or no say if it is there then you can write yes otherwise you can write no vaccination vaccinated not vaccinated especially hepatitis b is a sexually transmitted disease right and tetanus toxoid vaccination status if accused is a female female arrested under pokso sections then you need to write all this menstrual history all this detail menstruation at the time of examination menstruation at the time of incident all this yes or no lmp all this can write in the relevant surgical medical history so this is the fourth component fifth component history related to sexual violence how to write that the first thing date and time location of the incident what is the date and time the incident happened that you can take history from the accused estimated duration between the sexual violence accused perpetrator reaching the hospital approximate time number of episode whether known to survivor if yes then what is the relationship here question can be asked what is apsa what is apsa under okso aggravated penetrated to sexual assault this can be asked when it is committed by someone who is a relative then description of incident in the words that you can write alleged history uh, alleged history in the beginning can write so in the words of the narrator accused in comment that you can write in the about the sexual violence then type of violence whether it is a physical violence emotional violence along with the sexual violence if it is there any history of drug or alcohol intoxication okay if survivor has left any mark of injury on accused usually the bite mark okay there can be some bite mark or there can be uh, lacerations or there can be bruises bruises 
scratch abrasions all this you can write it in the this uh, column right then details regarding sexual violence like penetration ejaculation oral sex or uh, masturbation history of masturbation talent uh, that is or forced manipulation of assault in genitals by survivor so all this exhibitionism of condom so all this you can write yes or no or don't know like that you can mention in the mention in the history related to sexual violence so the rape is a heinous crime rape is a legal term not a medical term so the rape decided whether it has happened not happened decided judged by magistrate not by the doctor not by the our duty is to give evidence trace evidence to help the you know whatever that is complaint that is given right so all this you can write again in exhibitionism that only question can be asked what is exhibition what are types of exhibition like moon flashing all this so all this are important uh, components of component 5 next comes is the examination So in the examination, the first thing is gender fluid exam. You need to measure pulse, BP, temperature, respiratory rate, pupils. So if any injuries on the body, very important injuries. So can be very important evidence like abrasions, lacerations, scratch mark, bite mark. If it is there, that you can mention in the this. Then local examination. A very important component is the local examination. You need to examine external genitalia. Any any finding that you can mention there: mons pubis, glands, shaft of the penis, protum testis, urethral meatus vestibule. If any bleeding, any discharge, any edema. If female, then you can examine labia majora, labia minora, forcate, introitus, hymen, perineum. If accused a third gender, then we can examine clitoral penis and labial scrotum. So, when you finding that you can write, if you no finding, you can write not applicable. And you can write then anus and rectum, like bleeding, tear, discharge, edema, tenderness. If it is there, you can mention oral cavity, bleeding, tear, discharge, edema, tenderness. Anything that is there, you can write anything significant. And also examination very important while giving potency certificate. so potency certificate is also component of uh, this uh, report system examination and also psychological assessment usually in case of repeat offenders okay then investigation what investigation basically so general investigation like example blood for hiv bdrl that is syphilis what are is uh, b sugar hemoglobin a1c urine for sugar and drug ecg and x ray for injury color doppler of genitals all these are general investigations so what are important uh, what is the important component collection and preservation of sample this is very important you need to collect the samples to uh, that that will give an idea about whether there is a intercourse or not whether there is a forced intercourse or not so what are the things so what are the samples to be the first thing that is the clothing like example shirt bunion right the inner wear of the accused all were air dried remember air dried this can be asked and wrapped in a paper bag the very important uh, evidence to be collected then hair especially the pubic hair Are any matted hair, also cut strand of pubic hair. All this should be out. Then swabs, basically from the mouth, scrotum, pubic area, inner aspect of thigh, and the penis. Penis, especially from the shaft, coronal sulcus, and urethral orifice. Three swabs can be taken from the penis. So the first one is the cloth. 
and uh, the second one that is the hair and third one that is this part from the genital area and also from the mouth then penile washing look for any vaginal epithelial cells present over it nail scrapings so there can be you know very important in are the debris related to the victim so that can idea about reports as well as sexual violence then filter paper used for wiping the shaft of the penis for lugal side so the question can be asked very commonly asked what is the importance what is the importance of holidin blue both are very important for so lugal side in that detects vaginal epithelial cells so if vaginal epithelial cells are there because they contain high amount of glycogen so they react with the lugal side in. so that will give you the color of brown color right so this can be asked in your exam next comes is uh the blood for the grouping blood grouping and also for the dna card test dna that is the card test check the accused so this is about the very important sample collection in case of accused examination next comes is the uh right provisional medical opinion so in the beginning you can give provisional medical opinion Okay. I have examined the accused or the offender, male or female, the agent, and reporting dash days or dash hours after the alleged incident, after having bath or it is like that. So my findings are as follows. So you can write sample collected for FSM, sample collected for hospital laboratory, you can write clinical finding, additional observation. can write clearly the opinion is kept pending awaiting the above elaborate so this is provisional medical opinion so once once you uh, receive the uh, the reports from fsl and clinical then you can give final opinion in between you can give treatment also like wound treatment tetanus prophylaxis hepatitis b vaccination and also post exposure prophylaxis for hiv if needed all these are treatment aspects and the copy of treatment or uh, prescription has to be given to the accused next is the final opinion final opinion see final opinion in uh, being a ug student if you know few aspects that is more than sufficient okay so the uh, provisional opinion that final opinion can be like this there are signs suggestive of recent sexual intercourse there are signs suggestive of recent sexual intercourse or there are no signs of recent sexual intercourse as you know intercourse can be either vaginal intercourse anal intercourse oral cavity or oral intercourse so you need to give a report like this it all based on it all based on the presence of vaginal epithelial cells if vaginal epithelial cells are there okay are found or vaginal fluid uh, is positive then it shows that there is a recent sexual intercourse then if anus vaginal epithelial are uh, if anal epithelial cells are there then it can be anal intercourse if saliva is positive and the swabs taken from the shaft or glands penis that shows that there is a oral intercourse so this is the opinion one then there are signs or no signs suggestive of being under influence of drug or alcohol again it based on the drug alcohol positive or negative then there are no signs suggestive of sexual intercourse but remember remember in case of fingering use of object other non penetrative sexual act so there won't be any signs suggestive intercourse any other comments can mention in the final opinion like use of force in physical 
if some injuries are there over the injuries are there over the acute if any genital injuries are there okay so if anything relevant that you can mention then finally the date and place signature name of the examining doctor skill of the examining doctor so this is how you need to give final opinion so the one opinion very commonly asked is the a that is the opinion number one there are signs or no signs suggestive of recent intercourse can be anything that is vaginal intercourse anal intercourse oral intercourse again it based on the presence of vaginal epithelial cells for the penis or <clears throat> that is if anal epithelial cells are there over the penis or the epithelial cells from the saliva which is there and it is the oral intercourse so this is how you should be final opinion cancer like this that is more for passing your exam next is the potential certificate so this is asked in your recent exam, asked in your NEET PG exam, and also in your INS ET exam. How to give potency certificate? Remember, remember, potency certificate is given in double negative form. Double negative. How that is? There is nothing to suggest that a person is incapable of performing sexual force. Double negative here, one is the nothing. The nothing to suggest that person is incapable of performing, incapable, double negative. So then if all the findings are normal, but uh, then you can write any all physical findings are normal, then usually we give report. But nothing to suggest that a person is incapable of performing intercourse, nothing but double negative. Or sometimes uh, if any uh, relevant injury is there, or uh, some disease is known to cause impotence. Known to cause impotence. There are many causes you know, uh, which can cause impotence. This is known to cause impotence. So if injuries, uh, it, so then you can write the person is incapable of performing. So, but remember, according to 375 IPC, so uh, anything can be raped, even uh, penetration, insertion, manipulation, application of mouth also can be rate so so the potential certificate the value of potential decreasing day by day because uh, not only the penetration but also the insertion for an object manipulation of both also keep a kind of section 75 or 63 bns so again the signature and the name the signature and the place and the so this is how you should give potency certificate and uh, also the question can be asked define rape the punishment for rape what are the extensions of 376 so uh, what are the uh, sections uh, what are the uh, sections to act what do you mean by psa aps sexual uh, sexual assault or esa something like that the question the question can be asked what do you mean by juvenile what is the what is the use of bubal iodine what is the use of toledin blue question can be asked so uh, all these are frequently asked questions. Okay, so that's it about the one uh, short exercise that can be asked in your FMT practicals. That is examination cues of rape. So that is medical examination comes under 53 ACRPC or 52 DNS. So that's it about the topic. Thank you.